Angel Graphy textbook of uh, 85 percent of the world's energy usage is generated from fossil fuels, natural gases and coal. Hmm. All of these aforementioned energy sources are not renewable. They will eventually run out and become depleted. That's fair, but um, what did my physics textbook say again? Energy can neither be created or destroyed. <laughs> Wait, what? Imagine an isolated system from which energy cannot enter nor leave. This system is separated in half. The only way to go from a side to the other is by passing through a propeller. Now, imagine that there are lots of small gas particles in one half of the system. The ideal gas law states that the energy of a system is proportional to the quantity of molecules and the temperature of the gas. Gas particles move freely, randomly, and spread over the whole space. Some of them go through the propeller to the other side of the system, allowing the bulb to light up. Some eventually come back to the other side, some just stay there. As you can see, after a short while, they will be equally distributed across the system, and the bulb doesn't light up anymore. Now, imagine the same experiment, but the particles start their journey equally distributed in the system. It doesn't restrict them from moving. According to the ideal gas law, the amount of total energy in the gas is the same as before, yet the bulb did not light up this time. Why so? In the first example, there is more gas present on the left side than on the right side, so there was a higher gas concentration on the left side. Therefore, the pressure is higher there. Pressure is defined as the force exerted over a surface area. The gas on the left exerts a larger force. Thus, the gas accelerates from the left to the right and passes through the propeller. Some of the gas particles collide with the propeller blades and transfer the kinetic energy, making the blades spin, lighting up the bulb. To conclude, as your physics teacher said, the same amount of energy constantly exists in nature. However, this energy isn't exploitable anymore after a few transformations. Leading us to the problem your geography teacher is referring to, the limited quantity of exploitable energy in natural resources.